He had made it to the charming cat corner Music City Mall, Louisville, Texas. Guys, you're just a quick car trip away from these little guys. Check this out. The cat corner is a huge foster home. A lot of people say that they go to cat cafes all over the country, and they said this is probably one of the best that they've seen because it accommodates the cats, not the visitors. It seems to accommodate the moods of a cat at various times of the day. So some of them will like lots of light and be able to run about and have large space. Some of them will just prefer to cozy up and settle in. Hi, Barcelona. This is our Cosmos. This room has been set up to be low frequency, sounds, low light, and um, the cats will go in there when they want to chill. So. The mall suite doubles as a feline foster home. We had been doing adoptions at Pet Smarts and Pet Co's. Cats hated it because yeah, they were in cages and it wasn't familiar to them. So I built them a big foster home here. And of course, we're working for the cats. So we assess the, you know, the adopter's lifestyle and what their expectations are, what their experiences have been. And um, then we try to find a cat that's gonna match that. Because we really want the cat to be successful. If the cat's successful, then the adopter's happy, and the cat's happy, and we're happy. So. But right now, because of overcrowding at shelters across the country, kittens as young as five weeks kick it in the corner. They are not ready for adoption, but they are living here because, hello, hello guy, come on. <laughs> we allowed them to go ahead and live here because uh, there was a huge strain at the uh, county shelter and um, they, were, they were at risk. So we just made the decision to go ahead and bring them here and let them live here all together instead of breaking them up. And um, our caretakers and our staff just go ahead and take care of them. They're, they're the cat mamas. Oh yeah, you coming over? Even giving them their own little lofted lounge. This is one of the rooms that we use when we need to introduce a new cat. Uh, because it is low light, they can climb up in the tree or they can climb up to the top of the tree and they can observe and, and go, where am I? But they feel safe. We know that they are acclimating and finally getting their sea legs, so to speak, when they hop out and start walking around in the other areas of our space. Among the famous furry faces you'll see. This is Lady Van Gogh. Sorry, girl. I know. She had her ear amputated. Oh, and that's Van Gogh's a perfect name. Then. Yeah, so, but um, most orange and white cats are male, so we call her Lady Van Gogh, so you know that she is a girl. Barcelona. Oh, she's She's a quasi-permanent resident, you know. She likes it here. She likes her spots, and she knows everybody. We usually try to keep about 40 cats here in residence. Not all of them will be out because not all of them want to come out. And we don't force them. They're not here to perform. This is their home, so we just let them do what they want to do. Now, folks, right now is peak kitty season. That means the next couple weeks is the right time to be getting kitties because shelters, the cat corner, needs your help to adopt some kitties out. We got more information, CW33.com.